So in this, I'm not gonna give you the song and dance. I'm gonna get straight into the meat and potatoes. You just need a little bit of context about me to help you. So first and foremost, when I first kind of walked this path, um, you know, getting rid of my nine to five, getting into sales, that sort of thing, um, it went really well. And I actually started making, you know, pretty decent money in a relatively quick time frame. And uh, that lasted for about two years. And then around the two-year mark, things started to kind of go downhill. The market started to cool off. I, I wasn't making nearly as much and eventually left um, the previous offer that I sold for to come to the one that I work for now. But the problem is between now and then, because, you know, between, you know, leaving that offer and coming to this one, I was without work. I wasn't making money. I was literally losing money and essentially I, I was going backwards and uh, you know I went broke so to speak and I wanted to touch on that because that point in my life taught me a lot of things that make this second run so to speak in, in business and sales way better and way easier because I know so much more than I knew the first time around and I wanted to teach you something so first concept I wanted to go over is this idea that money will change you and I mean, granted, it depends on the amount of money, right? But my experience, it doesn't whatsoever. It just amplifies who you are. So this might be something that you suffer from as well as me. This idea that making more money is going to make you more financially literate, like you'll make better financial decisions, you, you know, you'll have more in the bank, these sort of things. And this, this is the case. Um, if you're shitty with your money right now, like you spend a lot of money on just dumb stuff, Making more won't solve that issue. If anything, will amplify it, except now the price tag's higher. I can tell you from firsthand experience, dude, I've spent so like just stupid amounts of money buying watches that I literally never wear. And it's just dumb as fuck, honestly. Very stupid. And I thought making more money would solve that issue, but if anything, it just amplifies it. Like if you have the problem of spending more than you have right now, you'll still have that if you make money. Like I... I know you and I are both probably aware of people, they make 50, 100K a month, but they spend it all. They're in the same position as you, right? It's just they spend more, but they make more. So this is this first concept, like get your chicken, your money right, what, however you want to phrase it, get it right now. Because when you eventually do have, you know, more and more money coming in, you're going to be the same person. So adjust the habits now. And I think a big problem that like the root cause of this is there are so many people on YouTube. I mean, shit, I could be guilty of this too, that are just saying like, oh, spend all your money, put, put pressure on yourself, you know, buy the thing, buy the watch, buy the car, whatever it is. And like, yeah, that's great. If it's acts like if it's literally negligible, if it's a drop in the bucket, if you're making 50, a hundred grand a month and you decide to buy a car that's like 30 G's, okay, is what it is. But I feel like for so many people, that's not the case. And I genuinely want to ask you, are, are living this materialistic lifestyle with the nice homes, the nice cars, the nice watches, is that actually your dream or is it someone else's? Because like the thing for me that I kind of realized is it actually wasn't my dream. It was someone else's that I was told. So like that's the first thing. Get, get your, you know, your financial habits dialed in because that's huge. Like now I'm to the point where I literally try and spend a minimal amount of money. I'm not going to not buy a coffee, but it's just to the point where I, I realize this game is more so about how much I keep as well as how much I make. They're both extremely important. You can't have one without the other. The second thing is that money is what defines you. And that's not the case. Like if you, I don't know how much you're making, dude doesn't really matter though. If you value yourself based off, you know, the money you make a month, the money you have in your account, you're doing it ass backwards. That's not the case. Like I, I didn't realize this until it genuinely happened to me. Like to the point where I was like, I had bills due that I quite frankly couldn't afford is money doesn't make me valuable. Everything I've learned, the experiences, the skills I have, that's what makes me valuable. So the, the, the premise of what I'm trying to get at here is when I lost my money, I, I still knew how to make money. And that was so helpful be, because I could do it again. Like money isn't what defines you. It, it, it's what got you the money in the first place. Like the skills, the habits, the, the, the ins and outs that you learned. So now you can do it again because you can lose your money, but you still have, you know, the mindset, all that shit carries with you. 
Like, like it's like in a video game, dude. If you lost everything and, and you respawn, you can do it again because you've done it before. You see what I'm saying? You now have experience. So regardless of what the score says, and let's just, you know, picturize the picture, the score is money. You can run it back. If anything, you're going to do it better this time because you know things that you didn't know before, right? So that's huge. And the third thing, this is going to apply to almost all of us, is you might be on the cusp right now. Like tomorrow might be the day. I'm not saying it is, but tomorrow might be the day. And here's what I mean by that. If you're in like the, I've seen this so many times, it's, it's fucking nuts. I just had it happen to a buddy. If you're in this season of, preparation so to speak we're like you you know what i mean you're in the in between like something's about to change but you're kind of in this like unpatient waiting phase should i try and do something else should i make a pivot all these things right you're right where you need to be and here's what i mean by that when you're in that phase you are literally like building the foundation for the empire state building so don't overlook it like I know it's easy to get caught up in your head like, oh, you know, I'm not making 10K a month. Every fucking influencer on the internet says I should be doing it. If I don't, I'm a worthless piece of shit. Fuck them. Plain and simple. At the end of the day, you're in, you're, you're where you need to be. The preparation phase where, where you're doing the right things. You're going to the gym, you know, you're reading, you're studying the game. Like you're doing everything you can to get ahead. Don't underestimate the importance of that because contrary to popular belief, Every freaking person you look up to on the internet was once in that phase. They just don't want to talk about it. They want to say it happened overnight. It didn't. So don't, don't be, you know, rattled and upset by it. Embrace it. Like those moments of preparation are what's going to allow you when the opportunity finally comes your way to strike and make the most out of it. Like I can honestly say that's what helped me out the most. Like between, you know, jumping off and off jumping off or away from an offer to getting out of this one, the biggest thing that helped me out was preparation, just doing the right habits, you know, showing up every day, like sharpening my mind, my body, all these things, like don't overestimate it. But I, I just want to remind you, dude, that, you know, when, or if you're already there, you know, when you start making the money you want, whatever it is, man, you will bring the person you are today there unless you change. So stop thinking that like, Oh, it's because I don't make enough that I'm dumb as fuck with my money. That's not the case, man. I'll tell you right now because I've been that guy. I'll tell you right now. And then, and then the second thing too is this like idea that <laughs> money's going to change you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to amplify you. Like if you're you know selfish, you're, you're still going to be selfish except now you have money. That's the only thing that changes, right? And then secondly too is it, what you make matters, but what you keep matters more. They go hand in hand. And you also need to understand this concept that what you learn is going to matter 10 times more because money comes and goes. The knowledge, the skills most likely don't. So double down on those. And then lastly, dude, if you're in this season of you know preparation, I tip my cap to you because you're where you need to be. Focusing on the right stuff, watching the right stuff. And uh, I feel like that's, that's what helped me out the most, man. So, I mean, I, I hope this resonates with you because... It's one of the things I would have told myself just a few months ago. And I know he would have found value in it. And one thing I wanted to do too that I think might help is shoot me a DM on Instagram, man. If you have like a question, I'm gonna do what I can to try and help you out. But as always, stay focused, stay committed.